Hi, and welcome to the Get Started Fast with Avid Pro Tools S6 video series. My name is Gil Gowing, Pro Audio Solutions Specialist for Avid. With S6 version 2.0 and the new Spill Zone functionality, there are many new ways to recall tracks and interact with your sessions. We will go through some of these workflows in this video. The first workflow we're going to look at is using VCA track types in one zone and setting up the surface to spill into the opposite zone. First, go to the Tracks view on the Master Module and press the gear icon in the bottom right corner of the touchscreen. Here, we're going to set the automatic spill on a tensioned VCA preference to spill zone left. Next, press the R spill switch on the Master Module, then press the Type switch. This will bring up the different types of tracks that are currently available in the targeted session. Select VCA, then close the window or have the Auto Close Surface Recall Soft Keys preference checked on the settings page of the master module. Now, all of the VCA master tracks are in the right spill zone no matter where they are in the session. If there are more tracks than are currently defined for the right zone, make sure the R spill switch is white. This will allow the right spill zone to be banked. To spill a VCA, just press the attention switch on the VCA channel in the right zone. The VCA will spill into the left zone and the attention VCA master will be on the attention fader. The L spill switch will be lit dark green indicating that there is a VCA spilled into that zone. If there are more slave tracks than are currently defined for the left zone, press the L spill switch on the master module, making it white to target the left zone for banking. You can also attention any of the slave tracks to spill the channel's functions to the expand zones and the master module center section for further manipulation without collapsing the spill. To collapse the spill, press any of the light green menu switches on the slave tracks or press Shift and L spill on the master module. If you prefer to use this workflow in the opposite direction, set the automatic spill of attention VCA preference to spill right zone and call out the VCA track type in the left zone. Being able to have this preference set and quickly get to your VCA masters with track types will make navigating even the most complex sessions effortless. Another way we're going to look at using track types is with instrument and MIDI tracks in a composition workflow. To quickly get to all of your instrument tracks in a session, press the L spill or R spill switch on the master module and then press type. From the soft keys, Select Instrument from the list and all of the instrument tracks that are in the currently targeted session will spill into the selected zone. You can also do this with MIDI tracks as well. This will work not only with Pro Tools, but any supported DAW that specifies track types over Yukon. Getting to your instrument and MIDI tracks on S6 has never been easier. When working with large post sessions, Templates are created to recall complex session routing and consistent track naming. When working with these templates, it is critical to bring up chains, effects returns, and subgroup masters quickly without having to bank around the surface looking for them. Creating layouts of these track types streamlines the workflow. And now being able to quickly recall layouts into either the left or right spill zones helps refine this workflow even more. To recall a layout into a spill zone, Press the L spill or R spill switch on the master module and press layouts. This will bring up a list of the current layouts either loaded with a session or from a title. To recall a layout to the selected zone, press the layout soft key. That layout now is loaded into the selected zone. If there are more tracks in the layout than there are in the zone's configuration, make sure that zone switch on the master module is white so it can be banked. The zone switch will be dark blue if there's a layout loaded into the zone and it's not currently targeted to bank. Not having either zone targeted will allow you to bank around the top level of the session. One of the big features of S6 is the ability to work with multiple workstations at the same time, eight with an M40 system and two with an M10 system. Prior to version two, you could either bring one of the workstations up at a time on the surface or build a layout with the tracks from any of the workstations. Now with S6 version 2.0, you can place an entire workstation into a spill zone and have up to three different workstations up on the surface at once. One in the left zone, one in the right zone, and one on the top level of the surface. We're gonna look at two different ways to use this workflow. 
The first way will be to show source tracks from two different workstations as well as a record system, known as a dubber. To do this, we first want to choose the workstation to target to the top level of the surface. This is done by pressing Shift and the WS switch on the master module, and then choosing a connected workstation from the master module's touchscreen. We are going to choose a dialog machine. You can see that we have the workstations named by what their function is. Next, press the L switch on the master module, then press WS. This will bring up a list of the connected workstations on the soft keys. For this zone, we are going to select the music machine. This will populate the left zone with all of the tracks from the music system, and the top level of the surface still contains the dialog tracks. Then, press the R spill switch, then WS. From the soft keys, select the dubber. The dubber tracks are now in the right zone, and you still have access to both the music tracks in the left zone and the dialogue tracks on the top level of the surface. To bank around the dubber tracks, make sure the R spill switch is lit white. To bank around the music tracks, make sure the L spill switch is white. To bank around the dialogue tracks, make sure that both the L spill and R spill switches are light blue. A second way to use this workflow would be if you were using Pro Tools on one workstation and Cubase Pro 8 on another. First, press the L switch on the master module, then press the WS switch. From the soft keys, select the Pro Tools workstation. Then, press the R spill switch, then WS. Now select the Cubase workstation from the soft keys. Now you have Pro Tools in the left spill zone and Cubase in the right. To bank either zone, make sure the spill switch on the master module is lit white for the workstation you want to bank. Using spill zones is a very effective way to take control of any session or multiple workstations with ease. We have shown you some different ways on how to work with spill zones in several workflows, but these are just examples to get you started. Everyone's workflows are different, and these new tools allow you to work the way that is best for you. Thanks for watching, and let S6 inspire your creativity.